Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Let's have a look into some of the important points of knee joint. Knee joint is a carbon synovial joint. It is the largest joint in the human body. It is the most complex joint. Complex in the sense that it is a combination of some simple joints. Which are the simple joints that form this complex knee joints? It includes lateral femorotibial joint, medial femorotibial joint, and femoropatellar joint. Important point that you have to remember is fibula is not a part of the knee joint. There are a number of ligaments that strengthen the knee joint. Laterally, it is by the fibular collateral ligament and medially, it is by the tibial collateral ligament. This tibial collateral ligament is a degenerated tendon of adductor magnus. Fibular collateral ligament represents the femoral attachment of peroneus longus muscle. As you all know, the knee joint is a compound synovial joint and it is covered by a capsule and this capsule is deficient in the anterior part. The other group of ligaments which protect this joint is the cruciate ligament. There are two cruciate ligaments in the knee, anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament. Anterior cruciate ligament runs from the lateral femoral condyle to the anterior intercondylar area of the tibia, whereas the posterior cruciate ligaments run from the medial femoral condyle to the posterior intercondylar area of the tibia. The capsule of the knee joint between the menisci and the tibia thicken and support the knee joint and this portion of the capsule is called coronary ligament. This cruciate ligament is supplied by middle genicular vessels. Ligaments. Another group of ligaments that protect the knee joint is the meniscofemoral ligament. It runs from the posterior horn of lateral meniscus to the lateral surface of medial femoral condyle. The anterior portion of the meniscofemoral ligament is called ligament of Humphrey and the posterior portion is called ligament of Reisberg. Let's have some more points about knee joint. The oblique popliteal ligament, it is an expansion from the semi-membranous tendon. As we all know, the fibrous capsule of the knee joint is deficient anteriorly. Fibrous capsule of the knee joint has two gaps, one is for the suprapatellar bursa and another is for the exit of popliteus tendon. Another important point that you have to remember is locking and unlocking of the knee joint. Locking is the medial rotation of femur over the tibia. It is done with the help of quadriceps femoris. Unlocking is done with the help of popliteus muscle. Thank you very much. MCQ time. Which one of the following ligaments represent the degenerated tendon of adductor magnus? Option A. Arcuate popliteal ligament. Option B. Tibial collateral ligament. Option C. Oblique popliteal ligament. Option D. Fibular collateral ligament. Yeah, that's it guys.